Before I begin this video, I wanted to ask each and every one of you to please write in the comments below in the description of this video, well, not the description, but the comments of this particular video to let me know of how each and every one of you have been doing and if you have been positive, negative, perhaps a little bit of both. Lil Nas X, he had a music video that was released entitled Montero, Call Me By Your Name. I believe I got that right. So, me personally, I don't see anything wrong with the artist or Lil Nas as a human being, personally. Or even on an artist's perspective. I see it more of him expressing his creativity, his inspiration through channeling his craft and his art to influence or otherwise inspire or perhaps consciously provoke the mind into a sort of an, an awakening, all right? To provoke the mind through an awakening. And myself being a light worker, a shamanic practitioner, a practitioner of alchemy, of different chaos magics, Enochian magic, of various of different things, traveling and being initiated into the Kabbalah, Kabbalistic system, the Kabbalah, the cliff off, the tree of life, and being someone rather deep into the cult and of being a neutral, what they consider us as gray witches, ultimately a blend between a, a black and light magic. And everything that I embody into my, everything that I embody into my practices, into my personal life, into my craft, my metaphysical, my arts, is practical. Everything that works for me personally and spirits like I said time and time again spirits are in the dead are whom I have a, a high abundance of respect and admiration for so much more than the living it's the living that you cannot trust it's more the dead that in the spirits that you are able to trust because they have your best interests at heart and I don't believe that there are in my personal opinion, in my personal perspective, call me wrong, call me right, I don't care. You know, spirits, every single one that I hold a sacred relationship with, and the oneness with, is, is I always had my best interests at heart. And I'm not going to say their names, because there are so many people who are much too influential, they ride on the coattails of other people, and just to be trained. And through my art and my craft, personally, just like Lil Nas X, is hopefully for people to use and incorporate a lot of my, my videos and what I have to say for the positive intentions to change the world. Indeed, one thing I appreciate Lil Nas X personally is that he had come out openly and admitted that he was gay. He had come out of the closet, essentially, in that terminology what people like to use. But he had expressed the freedom of independence of his own will, of his sexual orientation, expressing his beliefs, and not only his beliefs, but his lifestyle for who he is. And he does not masquerade, nor does he pretend to be someone that he is not. And I personally do not know him. But, you know, listening to a lot of his music before, and observing through observation through studying him personally he seemed like a very down-to-earth guy otherwise known as good spirits in Greek and I absolutely I share a relationship a divine light sacred relationship with archangels as well and there's so many people that do not understand that even archangels have dark intentions and there's so much misconception in regards to demons to archangels to the metaphysics in general, as if, as practitioners, we are constantly shedding the light. We are constantly shedding the delusions, the misconceptions, 
in illusions in regards to the metaphysical, in regards to us as an entirety, as a collective, for our, for us as in our metaphysical practices and within a craft. Lil Nas X, he has every right in the entirety of the world to incorporate his sexuality and his beliefs into his music videos because him as an artist, as a human being, that is what he's entitled to. And just like myself, I'm entitled to whether if others may approve of it or not, or like it or not, inevitably, ultimately, I'm going to incorporate my artistry, my craft, the aesthetics of art into everything that I embody systematically into my life and my existence. Not just because that's my right, because, but also because that is the independence of my own will, that is my, how I govern my life and what I choose to do. And so many people may not accept that and honestly do not care in the slightest. I am who I am. I embrace who I am. I am the very same person that I am behind the camera as I am off the camera. Anyway, Lil Nas X, it's like I said, he has every right to do so. And it may have been sexualized, but there was a symbolism. There was a purpose behind it. But basically, it's meant to symbolize that you are to become your own living God. And you are the vessel in which what, whatever you create yourself to become that image of who you are, if that makes sense. Basically, you are what you make yourself to become. And no one else in the entirety of the world, the galaxy, beyond the universes, beyond the different dimensions, or other sentient beings have the right to tell you for who you are, what, what not to do, and how to govern your life. You have that choice, you have that free will, and that's what the Divine Creator had instilled within all of its creations. And your own free will, will is everything. And especially when you bend the will to, of the universe and within yourself to your, to your creations, to your, to your own imaginations, to everything that you want the universe to do for you. And what you put into the universe is what you get out of it. It's just like life in itself. And, you know, another point was that the music video, the music was actually pretty catchy. I mean, you know, besides from Old Town Road, and that still would have been my, my favorite one, I think, so far. But there's so many parents out there who said that, well... It was sexually explicit, it was not meant for, or a, rather a good influence on children. Well, it's apparent, it's like Lil Nas X, he had said in response to all the controversy and backlash to his music video, that children should not have been watching the video, and it's a parent's job to allow their children to see or what they do not see. <laughs> You know, this is the year 2021, and we should all, as a society, as a humanity, be a lot more taller, more diversified, more open-minded to explore different cultures. And one of the reasons that we, as a human species, in our human construct of why we are not progressing, instead we are digressing into the past, into the towards the Neanderthal caveman mentality because there's so many intolerant people who are who choose to rather be governed by ignorance and to be to stay in this realm of being judgmental there are so many people who cannot have an open mind to doing it you know to be tolerant of other people's beliefs and it's the problem with because there's so many of these like Christians and conservatives who these people 
who are so close-minded, it's not just them, it's just anyone in general who is close-minded, they absolutely cannot accept anything that is different. And we're living in an age of Aquarius right now, which is towards gearing towards the Great Awakening and a starseed prophecy, biblical, you know, whatever you want to call it, revelations. Everything's done by design, everything is intentionally done and set up for a specific, specific purpose. There's so many people that choose to be close-minded, it's rather unfortunate. Society, human species, you have to understand, is that they fear of what they don't understand. They fear of everything that they, they slap a label on it and they think of it as quote-unquote evil or quote-unquote demonic. And that's one of the things that I pointed out in my previous video. If you want to hear all of what I have to say about the misconceptions about demons, Lucifer, or what have you, you should go watch my Ghost Adventures, you know, Exposing Ghost Adventures, Zach Baggins video. And, you know, it's, it's sad because I have to stop watching that show entirely. Every other episode, Zach always comes out and says, well, this is demonic. This is demonic. Trust me, okay? <laughs> this is someone as myself who works with the 72 spirits of the Goetia and of numerous archangels. I mean, take your pick. Archangel Marcus, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Samael, okay? And these people, as an experienced practitioner myself, this is what I'm relaying to you. This is what I'm telling you. You know, don't worry about the symbolism in music videos and so forth because just don't worry about anything about life. You know, just be stress free. Enjoy your life. Go out. You have one life to live for. Memento Mori. All right. That death and life is inevitable. And life. Existence is what you make of it. And don't worry about your past. Don't continue to drown yourself in your past. Focus upon the present and the future. Focus, if anything else, on your fixation of your quote-unquote obsession, OCD, beliefs, philosophy, your energy, your time, on how to influence the world around you to make the world a better place. Maybe go out there on the streets to clean up the all the debris, trash, the litter that people continue to throw out in nature, desecrate, to defame, to destroy nature, to degrade nature, all right? Um, volunteer at your homeless shelters, your animal shelters. Volunteer, work at a recycle plant or something, you know? Or fix, fix the errors and the imperfections of your own life. And do something, you know. Don't worry about these music videos. Don't worry about other people, what they choose to do or don't do. Or what they incorporate into the music videos or symbolism. If you don't like it, if you don't like the artist, if you don't like the music video, don't watch it. You know. It's a bit of a rant because there's so many people that worry and get all up in the business of somebody else's life. And somebody else's artistry. And I have enough of that. <laughs> Me personally. You know, but... You have to be the one to govern your life, to set boundaries and push beyond those boundaries and limitations and expectations. Have a higher standard for yourself, you know. And, well, I mean, you know, so many people have little to no understanding of what the hell they're talking about. And spirits are... Inevitably, they are here to help our ascension of mankind. They are here to help us through our evolution process and our process to transcend of transcendence and awakening. And that's all I got to say about it. You know, some people just make a whole like whole entire hour video of talking about it. But each demon, each archangel, each have different attributions of characteristics that they help you specific specifically. In your life. Sorry for my rambling. I'm struggling with a bit of a cold sinus. 
Ugh, this pollen allergies are affecting me. But anyway, I had that in this early in the morning. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. I had to do this video as soon as I woke up because I was disturbed and distraught by the narrow-mindedness, the intolerance of people. And we're at an age right now where we are constantly fighting amongst each other, separating ourselves between culturally, morally, through genders, gender inequality, racial inequality. I feel, especially me personally being an Asian, a lot of this hate crimes towards us Asians, well, that's a whole different video. Uh, differences between sexual orientation, politically, religiously, spiritually, the list goes on. But anyway, my name is Cody Gremlin. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and let me know in the comments of how 2021, how life has been for you so far.